What's going on, everybody's here? Welcome back to some more Dyson Sphere program. Oh my gosh. We got some exciting things today. I am absolutely thoroughly 100% enjoying this game, and uh, we got some stuff to do. I'm really excited to get to the next phase, the next steps, the next things. Hopefully you enjoy. If you do, don't forget to leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. So what do we got going on? First thing we need to do, we got to focus on some research. You can see right here, my gosh, what has he done? I've placed another one on top of this. And actually, you know what? Because we want to do more, I think. Let's go ahead and let's make ourselves. Do I have enough for more? No, I need glass. Okay, so we're going to make some more researchy deals. Um, I went and queued up everything I could using the blue jellies. Now, I know people are going to call them like other things. I'm calling them blue jellies. It is what it is. All right. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyways. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's make some more research chambers. I can make 13 of them. Uh, let's do four, four, four. And then that is going to, uh, we're going to start making some stuff because we need to get that red jellies. Like I said, we got to get the red jellies going if we want to unlock some other things. Now, some exciting things. We unlocked environment modification, uh, a foundation. So I don't have it because we don't have steel yet. And then veins restore in this mode laying foundation can restore the buried veins there can be no buildings in the restoration point otherwise the function will be invalid click to switch veins berry mode i'm not really sure about that one lay foundation decoration lay foundation no decoration pretty neato uh what do we have going on research wise all right so we got universe exploration able to view the vein reserves in the whole planetary system super cool wrong button and we also have some uh let's see we got some other upgrades that we're working on too we are working on the drive engine unlocks mecha flight yes please i will absolutely take that a hundred percent so uh we're gonna work on that as well now i want to get hold on let's get some more research going here let's get this uh stacked up there stacked up there this just increases the speed of it so now uh we're pulling in we're getting 20 per minute which is super amazing super nice uh, and then we are also researching at a rate of 60 hash per second. Uh, as you can see here, it's researching, it's doing the things. Now, as long as I have things queued that require the blue jellies, uh, we're good to go. But we need red jellies now too. And red jellies take extra stuff. They take extra things. Let's actually look here because I want to, I can't remember. Uh, we need, I believe it's graphite and something else uh able to view vein reserves in the whole planetary system you can now view the vein reserves on the entire planetary system easier to find different production okay that's cool uh but we need to get graphite i believe that's graphite and some hydrogen dealio and i think that is associated with the oil refinery if i'm not mistaken it might be with the oil refinery um i did also unlock the chemical plant so these are all things that i want to take a peek at uh, so let's start off with the oil refinery. Let's see what we need to make that. Wait, hold on. Was that, that requires steel? Ooh, I don't think I actually have steel unlocked yet. Do we? Smelt and purification. No, we totally do. Uh, no, that's energetic graphite. Okay, so that's energetic steel smelting. Um, smelting facility. Oh, smelting facility can make, can make that now. Okay, so how do we make that? What is the requirement for that? Uh, three steel. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. You know why? Because we have a bunch of steel right over here. I really want that flight. I really want to be able to fly so we can move faster. <laughs> it's terrible. I'm sorry. So right here, we've got a bunch. We've got a bunch of steel. And it's it's piling up. It's super piling up. Now, actually, another thing that I learned, capacity for automation. You can actually move this bar to block off how much you want stored. Now, for iron, I don't really care. I think we're just going to leave it like it is. Um, but we need to get those iron rods going in order to make what do we want we want something oh we want the uh we want we want the um those machines we want these machines the oil refinery okay so let's do this let's grab a smelter and let's just bring that right there and then do i have a storage container yes i do indeed let's just grab a storage container we're gonna put that literally right there that's all we're gonna do it's gonna be super amazing Grab this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab this. Go from here to here, here to here. And boom. We are good to go. Are you powered? You are powered. Wonderful. All right. So now we have uh, we have steel bars being made. What are these actually called? Steel. Just steel. Okay. So we have steel being made. Super nice. 
what else do we need in order to get oil refiners going? Because we have an oil thing right here. Uh, we also need... Oh. Oh, there's 11 in total. Uh, these excited... What is that? Plasma exciter? We need a couple of those as well. And we also need some concrete. But I think steel is the only thing I'm waiting for. So let's grab that. And let's go into craft buildings. Oh, we need an oil extractor before we get going. Hold on a second. We got to get this going. All right. So let's... Uh, I'm going to grab some more of these plasma exciters. Hey, drone engine level one. Uh, plus meters per second construction drone flight speed. Construction drones fly faster. Very nice. And here we have our flight being made up. That's doing its thing. So let's go ahead and let's grab these out of here. Let's make our oil extractor. I guess we only need one. So let's just make one of those and then oil refinery. We'll make three of those and we'll see what happens there. Uh, now the energized, what is the energetic graphite? I think I believe that's actually going to be coal that we're gonna have to make that from. So we're gonna work on that area too, but let's go over to this oil production. Let's kind of check out this thing. Let's see what, what it does and what it's capable of and what we got to go, what we got to do with it. So gathering oil extractor. Okay. So that literally just pops down right on there. Uh, let's go ahead and rotate it that way. So it doesn't have power. Oil extractor. Okay. So what do we need? We probably need our factories, right? Oil refinery. The extracted crude oil is further refined to obtain refined oil and hydrogen. I have three of those guys. Okay, so we've got a couple of inputs. Uh, let's see. How do we want to do this? Your production let's... compound has reached a certain scale. Oh. Now click the statistics panel button at the bottom right corner of the screen to view okay. statistics. It includes the output consumption of each item, electricity data. Oh yeah. I kind of already looked at this a little bit. Uh, generation capacity, consumption, demand, uh, total energy consumption. Yeah, pretty neato, pretty cool. I like this. So you can see like iron production and consumption, like how fast we're producing and consuming. That's pretty neat. Um, I like it, I like it. And then actually we have like everything here, like literally everything. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's get these guys going um i'm thinking let's do uh one i don't know what i don't know if we're gonna need this inputs or outputs produce multiple products to two them, you need to three filter on the sorter you can use tab or the arrow keys oh okay it's gonna output multiple items super cool we set the filter all right component Plasma refining? Hydrogen and refined oil can be obtained by refining crude oil with plasma. So this oil is going to turn into hydrogen and crude oil. But we have to have two separate outputs. So let's go ahead and copy that. And we'll paste it into those. So we're going to have to have two outputs. And input is just oil. So that's easy enough. Hey, drive engine! You can now fly! And increase movement speed of 150% flying mode, double press space bar to lift off. Oh my gosh. The ability to fly. Double click the space key to lift off. And then use the arrow key. Pressing the alt will return the mecha to the ground during flight. The moving speed will increase by 150% with more energy consumed under flight mode. Oh, Pressing the that's so cool. Return the mecha to the ground during the flight. That's so cool. We could fly. Okay. So. Uh, we need three lines here. So let's go ahead and let's just get three lines to start with. So one for the input, one for the first output, and then one the second output. And we should be able to... Oh, I need to go... I need to make more sorters. Okay, uh, let's see. We got to get more research going. We got to We got to get research going. Energy circuit. I don't have that. I don't have that right now. Mechanical frame... 60 of those? Do I have 60 of those? I only have 30 right now. Okay, we'll worry about that later. We'll worry about it later. All right, so... We need to go ahead and we need to get logistics. Let's go ahead and just grab this. Bring it in for all of these. We'll bring in the oil to start with. 
And then we'll go ahead and connect the oil from here to, nope, out here. Thank you. And then from here to there. Perfect. So oil is going to go from there. It's going to go into that. Uh, oh my gosh. Those machines look amazing. <gasps> those look super cool. Oh my gosh. Those look super cool. <laughs> All right. So I need some more of these sorters. Uh, let me make a few of those. Oh, I just realized we had uh, we had a solar thing we could unlock. That's kind of cool. Uh, photon frequency conversion. Okay, so solar processor. Oh, we can we can cue that one too. Oh, these must be a. Oh yeah, applied superconductor in the field of materials emergency. Uh, you know what? I don't even care. Let's let's cue it up. I'm gonna cue up everything that only requires the blue jellies right now. And that's it. <laughs> that was. That was quick. All right, uh, I'm waiting to make stuff. Our queue is going. As you can see, I got a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of those little movie deals. The sorters being made. Now, this whole area right here, I'm not gonna lie, is kind of useless compared to this area because, like, this whole area is just a mess of doing exactly what this is, minus the igniters or exciters. Minus the exciters, this is doing pretty much everything that is over there. So, like this. Basically, I really, I, I kind of want to get to the point where we can just tear everything down and like rebuild everything so it looks better because this is just a disaster. I wasn't expecting progression as fast as we got. Now we can mess with this and now we can get these guys going. All right, so we are going to need this from here to here. We're gonna have to put a filter on it. Set filter that. Right? Is that the correct filter? Hydrogen. Okay. So now, is there a way to make a filter as we're building it? Oh, tab to select. Okay. So I want that one to be oil. So this one here, hydrogen. This one here, oil. Oh, this is super cool. Hydrogen and oil. Oh my gosh. Okay. So there we go. We got that. That's super cool. All right, liking it, liking it. Oh, we're about to get solar power too. Hey, solar collection. You can now use solar, uh, use solar panel. It's a power generating facility that converts solar radiant energy into electrical energy. It does not work at night. Uh, you can use accumulators to store surplus, surplus electrical energy during the day. You know, what's actually kind of funny is this name. The name of the game is Dyson Sphere Pro Program. The whole point of the Dyson Sphere Program is to use solar energy to collect the energy from the sun. I think it's solar, right? Is that what it is? I think so. So it's funny that we're just now getting solar. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you would think that might be one of the first energy producing things that we get. Okay. So we've got uh, hydrogen and we've got- shows This is a planet without natural silicone veins. Uh-oh. However, you can still obtain some by smelting stone ore. Oh. While you still need a massive silicone collection, you need to find a planet rich with silicone veins as soon as possible. Oh. Wait, we can smelt stone? Now, you can try to view the whole planetary system and even the entire cluster by clicking the star map button in the lower left corner of the screen. Okay, I want to do this. So, we don't have any silicone. We are right here. You can now use this. So, like, can I see what's on here? Collectible fire ice? Collectible hydrogen. What? What's on calf? Silicone. Or silicon. Sorry, I'm always going to say that wrong. Barren desert planet. A little bit of silicon there. Oh, this is super cool. <gasps> I cannot wait to explore other planets. All right. So we've got that going. Now, what else did we need for the red jellies? Uh, was it was it the was it the silicon? No, it was the energized. It was this energized graphite which is coal or it's oil hydrogen to make energized graphite and three hydrogen. So it actually releases hydrogen. So we get two hydrogen and oil. So essentially we can convert the crude oil into energized graphite and gain a hydrogen out of it. That's kind of cool. But the coal, we have a coal plant right next to us. So what do we want to do? Do we want to set it up that way? We might as well. Let's explore it. Let's try it. Let's do something different. Let's not do the easy way. 
let's figure this out. Uh, well, hold on. What else do I need for the red jellies? That's perfect. Hydrogen and energized graphite. Yeah, this is exact. Okay, so this right here, this is all we need for the red jellies. Uh, but unfortunately, our other machines are way over there. We could bring them over here, though. We could set up a research facility right here and do, like, all the researchy things. We might do that. Okay. So, I believe we're probably going to need this. We're probably going to need the chemical station, this thing. And I can't make any because I don't have any steel. Let's go grab some steel. Okay, so we should have some chemical plants. We have two, and now we have three. So chemical plants. Uh, we need the crude oil and the hydrogen. Actually, we just need exactly what we just made right there. So we can just keep it going down the line. Let's just do that. So we'll get one, two, three, just like that. We'll continue these lines down, and we'll bring those in. Actually, let's bring those closer. Because we're also going to have... Oh, we're going to have outputs. That's right. And we're going to be taking two in, having two out. I can't expand four out. So we're going to have to have one line on the back of this. Actually. Hmm. I don't like this. I'm going to reset this up. All right. So there we go. So we want sulfuric acid. Oh, these aren't the right buildings. Sulfuric acid and plastic. Oh, these aren't even the right buildings. <laughs> oh, we need the oil treatment stuff. Duh. Oh my gosh. Okay, of course. We need the oil refinery. Oh. All right. How big is the oil refinery? Wait, no, that's this. Wait, can we select the different... Hold on a second. Let's see here. What can, what recipes can I pick? That and that. No. It's not that. Wait, so what is... Hold on. What is that made in? What is the... Uh, oh, it's a smelting facility? Oh. Okay. Not expecting that one. Okay, so for smelting facilities, let's go ahead and put up... How come this is not going? Product stacking. Oh, it's because it's full of crude oil right now. We might have to deal with that. We might have to deal with that. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, let's bring these... We need to start these... Actually, you know what? Let's just start them down here. Alright, so for these... I want this. No, I don't want that. I want the one that's the both product. Wait, what? Oh, you know what? Can I bring in the... Okay, okay, okay. So if I do this... Let's see here. Alright, so if I do that... I'll go ahead and paste it on that one, that one, and that one. Now bring these two into this machine. Is that going to start functioning? I was a little, I was a little confuzzled there. Okay, so if I do that, uh, that's gonna give us a dual output. So we're gonna need a couple of belts. All right, let's see if this starts functioning. No, but I can't change. I'm, I'm so good. Purifying raw coal to obtain graphite, a more usable form of carbon. You can further compact graphite to crystallize dome and more advanced applications. It's weird because it shows me the recipe down there of the hydrogen and the crude oil, but it's not giving me the option to make it that way. How do I make it that way? Because that's the way I want to make it. All right. I'm not seeing a, I'm not seeing a way to make it. I don't I don't know which Maybe I don't have a building unlocked yet. And I thought it, it thought, I thought maybe it was in an oil refinery, but it doesn't seem to be that either. It's like, there's no components here. It's just, it's just that. All right. So since we can't make it that way, uh, we're just going to use this coal right here to make what we need to make because I, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't figured that one out yet. All right, so we'll put a, put a line of those down. Let's go ahead and grab our buildings, grab our smelters, 
And basically, I'm just going to put the smelters directly right here. Like that. Grab this guy. Let's go ahead and expand that just a hair. And then what we're going to do is... I'm just going to run another line directly right here for now. And then that's going to be our energized stuff. Now, I am going to have to deal with this crude oil. So I'm thinking... That we could use a generator. We could probably, we could possibly use it, run a generator off of it. One, to give us more power, and two, to burn off the excess. So that might be what we do here. And then let's go ahead and grab, um, oh shoot. These aren't going to be able to connect right there, are they? Oh, yes, they will. My gosh. Perfect. Look at that. It combines the belts just like that. Gosh, that's amazing. All right. So, uh, you're going to go in. You're going to come out. And so on. And so forth. Alright, so that's going to get us our energized deals. Now, let's go ahead and let's put a storage unit as a buffer. Because we might as well. Alright, so we'll throw a thermal power station... I don't know, right there, I guess. And then I should have a couple of storage deals for the fluids. So I'll throw, uh... Oh, wow, these things are, <laughs> these things are like, huge. <laughs> these things are a lot bigger than I thought they would be. Hey, we got a processor. You've unlocked the processor, a large-scale integration circuit device that can handle more complex data operations. Super cool. All right, so let's get this uh, right there. And then actually, we're just going to go ahead and attach that to there. And we'll go ahead and do boop. Oh, you just had to run them in. Wait, how is this going to work? Like if I do this to there and this to there, is it going to split off automatically? Oh, shoot. You know what? We're going to need this guy. And I don't have room for it. <laughs> oh, well, it'll be fine. Let's just go ahead and uh, destroy these. All right, so there's the fluid being stored. I guess I have, I could probably put another one like right here, huh? All right, so there's those. That should start generating power. Oh yeah, look at all that power. Oh, power satisfaction's really good too, nice. Now, can I access this and put it? No, I cannot put it into my backpack. <laughs> I had to check. You never know, you never know. All right, so now we gotta get these all connected up. That's super easy to do. Let's see if we can get them all with one. Uh, we're not going to be able to get them all with one, unfortunately. All right, so there goes that. That's going to grab all of these, and then it's going to output that energized goodness over here, and then let's grab some uh, some of these. Now, we're going to have two different types of things. We're gonna, we have red jellies and blue jellies right now. So let's just go ahead and stack these. And we want reduce red, and we need energetic graphite. And hydrogen we have hydrogen here energetic graphite there easy peasy so we'll go ahead and get those hooked up uh i don't imagine we're gonna need a lot of power but we might or we i don't know if we're gonna need a lot of materials but we might uh can you get it yes perfect thank you for doing that perfect there's that all right so we need to get power over here and then we'll have red jellies going now, do these machines go off of a network? So if I put another one here... No, they're not going to go off of a network. Well, they might. If I go to research... We're not producing any blue over here. No power, lack of matrix. Let's power this up and let's see. Let's see if this connects network, like a, like a network kind of deal. Uh, no, it does not look like it's going to. Okay, so we're going to have to bring the blues over here if we want to make that happen. All right, so what did we need for blue? We need a magnetic coil and an electronic. We can just grab that from right over here. Electronic and magnetic coil. All right, so we'll just bring these both over that way. We'll start getting this stuff going over there. And then again, I'm not going to need this area anymore. All right, so blue jellies are ready to go again. It's amazing how much faster it is the second time you do it, isn't it? <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and go uh, blue jellies into there. Let's go ahead and do uh, 
red jellies into here. And I'm gonna guess we're probably gonna have other colors. So I left a little spot here and a little spot here, just in case. That should start doing the research. Oh, we gotta get uh, we gotta get power over here. Darn it! There we go. All right, that's good. We got red jellies. We got blue jelly. Can I stack these up again? No. Okay, so that's the next tier one. The next tier one, we can actually stack them up again. Uh, we got those those things going. So now, let's see what are we going to want? Polymer chemical engineering. Organic crystal x-ray what is this under the catalyst oh there's the stuff i was looking for x-ray cracking oh my gosh that takes a while doesn't it what is this guy is that a steel a steel hydrogen gives us a hydrogen fuel rod Ooh, wow that would be nice actually let's look at upgrades for our uh our self all right, so we'll start with the Mecha Core level two plus 240 MJ Max Core energy. We'll queue that up. Uh, inventory capacity. I should go through and do this stuff as well. Just haven't done it yet. Uh, communication control one plus one construction zone energy circuit. Oh, I need to do that one as well. Um, and then let's see. There was another one. Oh, the drive engine. I want to see what what drive engine we needed. Unlock Mecha Sail. <laughs> Sail. Okay. Drone engine. All right, sweet. So let me go grab some stuff and let's see if we can't get some of the other stuff unlocked as well. Because that might be that might be pretty nice just to get that that lower tier stuff done with. But we got crude oil. We got some of this going. It looks like we're utilizing all of our oil. Doesn't look like we have any there. 348, 49, 40. Okay, so I mean, we're not fully utilizing it. We could put a, we could put another deal on there, but I have a feeling we're gonna need this oil for something soon, anyways. Why is this not? Why are you not going? Oh, it's maxed. What? We've already made it. As, we're making it as fast as we're consuming it. Oh my gosh, applied research. Uh, you can now produce graphene, a nano superconducting. Their veins scatter around different planets. Okay. They will greatly improve production efficiency. So if, if you, you find, find them, them, collect them, and put them as a part of industrial production. I don't know what a rare vein is. Chemical, uh, graphene is made in a chemical facility and can be produced with much greater efficiency through the use of a rare material called fire ice. That's what's on the other planet, okay. You know what? Since we have like we have a plethora of stuff over there, I'm gonna grab this stuff, and I'm gonna move it over there, and I'm gonna get uh, the blue and red research going even faster, because we can go ahead and we can throw these. Uh, one, two, three. And is this like stacked at all? Yeah, these are all stacked already. So let's go ahead and do one, two. Three. And then do I want to bring red over here? 10 per minute. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's get let's get these going on this one. And then I guess we're gonna try to bring red in over here. Mecha core level two plus 240 MJ max core energy. Oh my gosh, my energy super low now. You've increased the core limit of the mecha. Ooh, buddy. So that means we could get a drive engine, drone engine, communication control. What do we need for this guy? <laughs> I think so. Let's queue that up. Let's queue. Let's see, can we queue this up? Let's queue up that. Let's queue up all the double things. All the two color. Oh, oh I knew that. I knew there was a new. I knew there was going to be another one. Uh, let's go ahead and queue that up. What is this? 6% ore consumed minor product, but plus 10 minor speed oh that's mine that's my my personal miner okay cool so let's get that going and then let's grab our research buildings we're going to increase research even more we're going to do this and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab of course i don't have enough belts but we can go ahead and start blue research on this one because i already have the logistics for it so one there one there queue up that and then let's go ahead and grab you into there you're going to be doing research. And then we just gotta get our belts over here, grab this one, make this one do red research as well, and then uh, put this into research as well. 
And then that should make our research even faster. All right, there we have it. There it goes. Increase that red research, please. Please and thank you. Really hoping we have enough, uh, we have enough of this going. I don't know if I can squeak another one in there or not. Well, now it doesn't look like we have enough of these. <laughs> for the for the double red and now it's never gonna get over here and which means that this one's never gonna work but hey it is what it is so these are hashing lack of matrix oh yeah it's missing the red okay darn so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna grab some of these because i think we can use these as energy and that'll give us a lot more energy power and then we can start making uh some other stuff now, we do need to get silicone going as well. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up for silicon. I don't know what I need it for yet, but I'm sure we'll need it for something. Hey, drive engine. Uh, unlocked mecha sail. You can now sail. Double press space, lift off. Hold arrow keys with space in flight mode, which will activate sail mode at a certain altitude. <gasps> what? Hold on. We got to check this out. The ability to sail. Sail. Double click the space key to lift off to enter the flight mode and keep pressing the forward direction and space keys in the flight mode. And, you and then you'll re- Oh my gosh. Okay, we have to check this out. Altitude. All right, so we're going to be- uh, We're going to start making some silicon. Uh, okay, all right, let's do it. In Sam, oh! You can control the mecha, go to different planets or planetary systems by following the arrows in the space navigation. No! Hold down the shift key to accelerate. Back arrow key to slow down. You can also use the QR keys to hold down the right mouse button. No sideward flight. Way. That is amazing. Okay, in sail mode, you can control the mech and go to a different space. Uh, okay. Hold on. Let's look at this. Hold down the shift key to accelerate. Backwards key to slow down. Use Q and R uh, to strafe left and right, essentially. Right mouse button to drag it to roll the camera and sailing you can control the mecha to travel to different planets or planetary systems by following the arrows in the space navigation <gasps> we can go to other planets after unlocking drive engine 4 you'll gain the ability to warp and you can cross the distance between galaxies in a short time if you want to warp you need to prepare sufficient energy and space warpers <gasps> No way. Hold on. Let's charge up. Oh, is this dangerous? Let's charge up and let's see if we can. Uh, I, I, I want to go to another planet. <laughs> Where, what's the closest planet? Oh, uh, this big boy right here. What do we have here? Collectible fire ice 0.62 per second. Collectible hydrogen. Uh, okay, we got to go check that out. We got to go check out the big boy. We got to go check it out. It's going to happen. Okay, I'm going to wait for my suit to be fully charged. And we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Okay. Uh, space, accelerate, big boy right there. Oh my gosh. We're literally flying to another planet right now. I don't know if I can land here. I don't think I can land here. Uh. Okay, maybe not. All right, let's 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 go back. Let's go back. I'm scared. I'm scared. My power's low. Oh, this is so cool, though. Oh, we can just kind of hover in space a little bit. And then, like, charge up if we need to. Oh, this is so epic! Okay, so maybe we can't go to that planet. <laughs> maybe we can't go there. I don't know, but this is super cool! Uh. Alright, where's my spot? Right here. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is super cool. It's a little trippy, I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely a little trippy. Sail mode ends. Oh! <gasps> That is so cool. Oh, we didn't put a uh, we didn't put a deal in here. Hold on, let's grab you into there. Okay, 
So there's a silicon. Oh my gosh, we just flew to another planet. I mean, we I, we did we didn't land on it, but still, that's epic. That's the most epic thing we took. We went somewhere. Um, so we definitely need more juice, and we need a lot more power generation. Because, well, I guess we were burning. Oh no, we're burning this stuff. So we need more power. Uh, yeah, we need more power generation. Like straight up, period, end dot. Let's charge up. Oh my gosh, that was so cool though. So how do we know if we can actually go to other plants? Maybe if it doesn't have a surface like this one. Ice giant, collectible fire ice, collectible hydrogen, orbit status, orbiting the star, or the period rotation, planetary axis, all that fun stuff. But it doesn't look like it has like any, uh, it doesn't look like it has any surface terrain. You know what I mean? It doesn't look like there's anything actually there. Uh, but what about like this planet? See, this planet looks like it actually has somewhat of some surface terrain on it. Oh, I have no idea. What's CAF 1? This looks like a volcanic planet. Oh my gosh, this is super cool. <laughs> I want to go explore these plants. We are not ready, though. We are not ready. Uh, but we do need to get that fire ice, so maybe we'll go back there at some point and see what's going on. Now, let's actually go ahead. Let's see. Can we make the water pump? I want to try making all of the different machines that we can make so far. Water pump. Can I craft one? I can craft one. Okay. And then do I have a tank to store? I do have a storage tank. Okay. So let's, let's check out the water pump and let's see what this does. Not enough. Oh, wait, what? I was crafting it. Oh, it's still going. Okay. So water pump, put that there. And then let's just throw down a, uh, like a water collection deal, I guess. And then we'll we'll just collect some water for the sake of collecting it. I'm sure we're gonna need it at some point for something. Alright, so there's that. Uh collecting water. <laughs> I don't know why, but we did it. I'm sure there's something that needs it. Oh, the chemical plant! Oh well, hold on a second. We might have a reason after all. Okay, is there anything in here that requires water? Well, no. Graphene. Oh, there's the fire ice stuff. Recipe graphene advanced. Sulfuric acid, primary chemical product uh, produced from crude oil can also be directly gathered from the sea of sulfuric acid with a water pump. So we need to mix water, coal, and oil to make sulfuric acid. Interesting. Why do I need sulfuric acid? I have no idea, but let's get it going. All right, so we got some conveyor belts hooked up, ready to go. We just got to do some logistical stuff. So we got to bring in uh, water, oil, and coal. I don't know if they're specifically that order, but uh, I think they are. Oh, this one needs to actually be there. And then this one could be here. Then we'll have the output on the other side. All I need is a logistical deal from here to here, and then from here to there. And that'll bring those things in. We just gotta hook up the water as well, and then we gotta put an output, and we'll have, sulf we'll have sulfuric acid, uh, if we need it for any reason. <laughs> and then I guess we'll just go ahead and throw it in into a tank. Oh, uh, it's crafting still. All right. We'll just put that there, get that hooked up. Let's see, uh, logisticals, grab this guy. Boom, out to there, you out to there. And then we will grab the tank like that and then hook you into there. All right, so sulfuric acid. Oh, we got to fix this. Okay, so we're going to lose this generator right here too. That's fine. That's fine. That generator was purely burning the stuff off anyways. All right, there. Now the extra oil is going to go over here. You know, I guess we could put a, uh, we could put a slow pull on this one. We could put one of these guys right here. So it slowly pulls stuff off. Like every other one. Yeah, that, no, that, that'll work. That'll work. That'll be good. And then, okay. So sulfuric acid, here we go. All right. Sulfuric acid. So be it. Let it do its thing. Wait, stone. Oh, that's stone? Oh, shoot. 
Alright, well, darn it. That would have, would have been a lot easier, because stone's right here. <laughs> all I had to do was take it from here. Oh, shoot. That's using all of the stone, though, isn't it? Uh, do I have another mine? Alright, there we go. Stone. And, uh, oil and water. Stone, oil, and water. That makes sulfuric acid, huh? Who would have known? There it goes. Now it's doing the stuff. We should have sulfuric acid coming out here. Maybe. Yep, yeah, there it is. There she be. Sulfuric acid. All right, cool. Look at that. We did it. But that's going to end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. I am having a blast. We're going to be back doing more things, more stuff. We got more expansion stuff to do. Uh, the bulk, the goal of this episode was actually to get this... Um, this stuff here going and we did and we also explored the oil stuff we explored um some of the silicon stuff right here we got some sulfuric acid stuff we took flight i know we took flight how cool is that it's super exciting i'm enjoying this this is really cool really neato and i'm really excited to see where this goes but that is going to end it thank you so much for coming out have a fantastic rest of your day and if you want to check out the game links down below as always I'll see you in the next one